Hello friends! So since my apartment needs like renovation today, they are kicking me out for the day. So I'm gonna head off to Barnes and Noble and go book shopping, hang out there for half the day and let's just go book shopping at Barnes and Noble. I arrived at my local Barnes and Noble, so headed in, headed upstairs, and I went to the romance section first. So my goal for the day was to find one book that is not on my list to buy and just browse everything. So I just finished the Twisted series, and I think I might start the Ken king of sin series i believe is what it's called and i just looked everywhere went to the ya section because i'm a huge fan and i didn't realize until recently after getting back into the genre so yeah i'm just looking at all the books and seeing what's out there this sound intriguing this one was definitely my pick to like consider and then i saw um, some special edition books that i don't already own i have the regular copies but it would be nice to have a special edition so spent my time looking around just seeing what is out there what's new at Barnes and Noble and just looking at the backs of books. This is so relaxing and so fun. I just love reading the backs of books and seeing what is out there and all that fun stuff. So yep, put them away. I have a list in my head of uh, stuff that I think will be considered. So yeah, I did pick one though and I kept going back to it. So this is my choice. I'll talk more about it uh, later but this is the book that I went with and I am going to go buy it and then read it at the cafe because as I'm gonna talk about it later you'll figure out why I'm doing this but yeah I'm having fun and this was so relaxing getting to start the book there like usually I never start the books that I buy <laughs> on that day so this was a first for me it was really fun getting to do this so read the prologue and the first chapter and then i put that down and did some journaling in my reading journal and then did a few things there on my ipad since i brought it i also brought my kindle read on there my dad called so i picked up and then i had lunch last early dinner because it was already like five o'clock at this time so i hadn't eaten all day and i was sat at the cafe doing my thing so i'm like you know what i want some mac and cheese and a grilled cheese sandwich and that was my dinner and i just had some ice water to go with it so that is what i did i stopped on chapter 10 for the day because it was getting late so i left there and i or i still had my pickup order that i had to go get but i went back to look at more books to see if there was anything missing and i just loved browsing <laughs> All the sections this one was very pretty i love the sprayed edges i'm all about the sprayed edges and like special edition books so that was fun i usually if it's a normal copy i get it elsewhere but if it's like a special edition i love seeing what barnes and noble offers so the sarah j mass universe all her books are here and yeah just looking at all of them and admiring it so yeah that was really fun and i think this clip was filmed in slow motion on accident so yeah that was a fun cinematic choice so i left that in because i thought it was cute and yep more of her books and more of the fantasy section because again totally into that and i went back and forth if i was going to get these two and i decided you know what while i'm here let me just pick them up because i love these special editions they are on my 2024 tbr so checked out picked up my order and then i headed home with all my books so that's it hello i am back home now from barnes and noble so i hope you enjoyed coming along with me spending a solo date by myself out at barnes and noble so i was in a rush in the beginning but i'll give you a little background 
backstory. So my apartment needed some renovation done in the bathroom and the kitchen. So they had to kick me out for the day. <laughs> so I couldn't be in my apartment the whole entire Friday. So uh, the week before that, I got everything out of my kitchen and my bathroom. So now my whole entire living room is filled with kitchen appliances, dishes, glasses, coffee cups, and then my bathroom stuff is here in the bedroom. My hair products, makeup, all that. So it looks like it's semi-decent, but <laughs> if the surrounding areas are not. I also had to use my bookshelves for all my coffee cups out in the living room so the books that were on there had to come here and I don't have much space on these bookshelves behind me so I just have books and vinyls everywhere as well I mean it looks semi-decent but uh, for me it looks messy so this morning I got out of here uh, they told me that I had to be gone for a few hours and then I can just come back but I spent the whole entire day at Barnes and Noble I think I got there around noon and then I think I got home around like eight o'clock uh, so I spent my whole entire day at Barnes and Noble and it was the best ever I think I need to do that more often go on like take myself out on book like coffee shop dates or whatever because that was like so much fun I had the best time just browsing books today so just to recap I brought my iPad and keyboard with me I didn't use my keyboard but I got a lot done on my reading journal I have no idea if I filmed that during the b-roll but I brought my Kindle as well. I'm currently reading Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. It's the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. And then I bought some books while I was there, of course. You can't go to Barnes & Noble without picking stuff up. So I had an online order that I bought a few days ago and then just picked up in store and then I browsed and bought a few more books. So I'm going to share with you a quick book haul hopefully and not make this video longer than it was supposed to be. I brought this tote bag. This is a tote bag that my secret Santa got me and it came in handy because I had so many books in here. I just took them out and put it on the floor. I don't know how I got that home. I just took the bus home but I carried all the books home and then as I said I have my Kindle and then my iPad. I got to use my brand new iPad out and about for the first time. Got to fill in my reading journal which was so fun and I also got to read a book. I went to Barnes & Noble with a list and also my pickup order so I already had books in mind that I wanted to buy and already had bought but I told myself to treat myself for the day I can pick one book so I looked everywhere around Barnes & Noble. The romance section, the fiction section, the young adult section, the fantasy section, the young adult fantasy section. I looked everywhere but I kept going back to this one book which is Canadian Boyfriend by Jenny Holiday and I'm just like you know what this keeps catching my eye it had everything that I feel like I would want. It is about a hockey player and a former ballerina. So do you know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of Powerless by Elsie Silver and that is my, I don't know which one was my favorite, either Reckless or Powerless. Both of those like are competing for my number one spot in the Chestnut Spring series, but Powerless had a hockey player and a ballerina. So this one reminded me so much of that. So I ended up choosing this one off of the a uh, romance book talk table I believe. This was my choice. I went to the cafe, got myself some cookies, and I also got some lunch and picked up this book. So after I got done like shooting my content of like the books and filling in my reading journal, I began reading this. So as you saw before I left, I left off on chapter 10. I'm 150 pages in. Honestly, I am loving this book. So she is a ballerina. She worked hard to become a ballerina, but she quit. And then the hockey player, she kind of met him, um, maybe, at a mall and she is very delusional like all of us girlies and to like 
um, be popular with her friends. She said, oh, I have a boyfriend, but he's in Canada, so he can't make it. Honestly, I would have done the same thing in high school. I feel this girl to a whole nother level. It is dual POV. He is a single dad. Um, there's a lot of talk of anxiety, mental health, and it's really positive. It is first person, thank goodness. I forgot to check that one thing before I bought it, but... I am so glad I picked this one up. It kept calling my name. Like, it was like, you need this one, you need this one. Not just because of the cover and the bases. I just, I thought it was so cute. It's just a pretty book and I am loving it. The only thing that I don't like is the title, Canadian Boyfriend. That, mm, <laughs> that's the only thing that I'm like, ick about. But other than that, I love this book and I just did research on it to see to market on my Goodreads and it's not even out yet. <laughs> so it's not even published. It comes out January 30th. So they put it out earlier or something and then when I went back up to go get um, two other books that I'll share in a minute, I went back to the table to like say goodbye to it and like you buy. It was not there so maybe <laughs> if I didn't get there in the afternoon because I uh, left around seven something uh, Barnes and Noble so when I went back up in the evening this was no longer on the table so maybe they pulled it out because they knew it wasn't supposed to be released yet but I got an early copy I guess and I just I love this book I don't know why I love it so much maybe because of the atmosphere sitting at the Barnes and Noble cafe like having my drink having like a nice chill time just reading my book maybe that's what's giving it like a high rating for me but it is pretty good so yeah wanted to do my little initial review because I couldn't talk to you about it there I don't want to like just sit there and be like hey let me review this book for you while I'm here at the bookstore so didn't want to be that annoying so had to do it here when I got home but uh, this probably will be out by the time I put this video out so if you liked Powerless by Elsie Silver definitely pick up Canadian Boyfriend it has similar vibes with the hockey player and like the ballerina so that is my review loved it so this is the first book that i bought and then i can show you the rest of the books now so here was my pickup order so i didn't vlog everything so i did try to vlog most of my day and stuff like that but i didn't share exactly what i picked up so this uh, the end could be a little bit more surprising but by the thumbnail i think you can tell what these are i am starting to jump into the sarah j mass universe uh the first of the month i finished a court of mist and fury and then next month we're jumping in to a court of wings and ruin <laughs> that's gonna be hard for me to say but we have more books here so I bought the first three books of the Throne of Glass series from Book Outlet and I feel like they're gonna come either tomorrow or Monday depends on the postman what he wants to do if he's going to deliver it on a Saturday sometimes he does or just wait until Monday but I got those three books so I got the fourth and fifth one at Barnes & Noble so I got the Assassin's Blade and then Queen of Shadows I'm not sure yet what reading order I want to do but I have the books just in case and then we got the Crescent City series so House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath and I know the third one is coming out on the 30th as well so they didn't have it out they didn't have that one out I kind of wanted to see it but I know it's coming back in hardback so I'll have to wait to get like the pretty special editions like these ones are. Look at how gorgeous they are. I always gravitated towards them when I visited Barnes & Noble and since it was gonna come out <laughs> this month I'm like just treat yourself get it you're gonna read it anyways this year. So hopefully they do have the third one in this like pretty style because if not I really screwed myself over there. But got Crescent City so I just am missing three of the Throne of Glass series which they are available at my local Target so maybe in a few days I'll walk down there pick up the last three books so I can complete the Throne of Glass book series set. You know me, I like buying the whole series before I 
read it, which is dumb, I know that, but I like having it there just in case it ends on a cliffhanger. I'm not like, now what? Am I going to have to go out and buy the book? Which is a fun thing to do sometimes. So I do have a few books where I am like that, but with this series, I know I'm I'm hoping I'm gonna like it. I haven't picked up a book yet that I'm like, why did I buy this series? I hate it so much. So cross your fingers. <laughs> I don't experience it with the Throne of Glass books. So those were the, how many of the books are those? Four books that I got in my pickup order from Barnes & Noble. Kept thinking about these two books and they are on the 24 books that I want to read in 2024. If you watch that video, my bookish reset vlog that I filmed a few weeks ago now. I said that I would buy Ninth House and read it this year and I also got a bookmark that keeps sliding all over the place so I have the Barnes & Noble exclusives. I've been getting the Barnes & Noble exclusives because they're just so pretty and fun. So this one has red sprayed edges and this one has black sprayed edges and I'm all about these sprayed edges recently. I just love how they look and they're just so pretty so i got these two and i got two more books at Barnes and noble i really went on a no budget book haul i decided to get the magnolia park series because i mentioned in my vlogmas video that i wanted to read magnolia parks and the whole entire series this year and i decided just to go with the new covers. So I ended up buying nine books. They're upside down, but there they all are. I should have bought 10. Why did I only buy nine? <laughs> but yeah, got me a bookmark all at the end there and I picked up all these books. And yes, I carried them all home in my tote bag and I actually got a bag for them. Uh, it came with um, three of the books fit in here but they didn't have a big enough bag like the day that I finally get a bag from Barnes & Noble they don't have any bigger ones they only had this small one so I had to carry it all home in my tote bag also something else happened uh I guess I met an old classmate from first grade she came up to me while I was sitting at the cafe and she was like are you like teacher Linda's daughter and I'm like yeah I am because my mom was a teacher she was my first grade teacher and apparently this was my first grade classmate she told me her name and uh she asked about my mom and I had to tell her unfortunately she um passed away in 2020 or I would have passed along her message um so that was a little like sad and bittersweet that I like saw a classmate uh we haven't seen each other for so long like more than 25 years and like I had to tell her that her teacher was no longer around and stuff so we would call our teachers by their name so teacher Linda was my mom's name and my best friend who I'm still in contact with her mom taught at the same school. Hers was teacher Tessie. So we would do that instead of Mrs. Linda or stuff. We would do like teacher Linda. I thought I would share that because that was really fun. I will link all these books down below in the description as well as my book talk slash bookstagram if you want to follow me and also my goodreads to get live updates on what I'm reading if you're curious. So that is it for me today. I do hope you enjoyed coming along with me spending the day at Barnes & Noble book shopping all that. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone! Should we add more to this video and have like bloopers at the end of me trying to flip over these books? <laughs> I'm gonna drop these now. There they go. I only dropped one. Okay, now to think. I don't know if I need a thumbnail picture.